here, folks. I think you'll be excited about this power chair. This is the last model they just came out with. This is the newest F3, Permobil F3. You can see the, 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 the plastics are a little different, so you know that's a different model. This is the F3 power chair, the latest one they just came out a few months ago. This power chair has every feature you can think about. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, and it also has the interior tilt with it, where it tilts you forward to help you get out of the chair. Five electrical functions on this power chair. This power chair has one mile. Yes, folks, one mile. So it's, it's I don't want to say it's new, but you know what one mile means. It was delivered, probably never used. Okay. It has many other features, which we'll cover in a minute. Let's start right away with the seating system, which is what most people care about. All the functions can be worked through the joystick. If you want the seat to go up or down, you can do it all through here by pushing this button forward until you see a picture of the seat. And then by moving your joystick, you can change the color, whatever position you want. But I'm going to work all the function through the switch box below here because it's quicker for me. The first button is always the seat lift. So I'm going to make the seat go up and it's going to start roughly at 22 and by the time it's up it'll be at 34 inches. This is a 12 inch seat lift on this power chair. This is your 12 inch seat lift going up and we're almost there. Then we're going to go to the base here. So this is your 12 inch seat lift. You can see the new plastic design on this power chair. You can see how it's just the shrouds are different on this chair. We've got 14 inch wheels here, non-skid wheels. We've got suspension front and back. You can see the first suspension here, you can see the second suspension. And if I move the chair, you'll see the suspension. You can see the suspension at work right there on the back one. All right. You have a motor right here for each wheel. There's a motor for this wheel. There's a motor for the opposite wheel. So if I want to push this chair, you can see it's in here. I would turn the power off, I would make sure the seat is down, and then by pushing this lever down, what that does, it unlocks the wheel. You have to do both motors, both sides. That's where you would put it in neutral to push it. Now this chair weighs 400 pounds plus, so it's not like pushing a manual chair. This puts the, the uh, put it back in gear, and now you're back on, and then turn your power back on. So always make sure the power is off when you're going to put it in neutral, but you might still have some resistance from the electrical current in the motors. So, so far we've covered the 12-inch uh, seat lift, and you can see how well, built, how well built these chairs are. The armature on these chairs is just great. It's just a great power chair. So, I'm going to bring the seat back down. Also, I'm going to show you, this has got what's called a swing-away joystick. So, you can swing this joystick from the front, to the side, okay? Right now it's all set up for right-handed. If you're left-handed, we can put everything on the left side, no problem at all. So this is your swing-away joystick. The next feature I'm going to show you is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back, okay? When the base goes back, it takes the legs and it takes the back with it. So electric tilt, the base, that's the only thing that's going back, but it does take everything else with it if it's all connected. So this would be called your electric, electric tilt, okay? Now if you want your legs up, I'm going to show you the legs right now. Now these legs are electric, but they're also adjustable. If you're five feet tall or six foot tall, we can adjust them right in here and we can lengthen these foot plates back out so that you can have more room for your feet. Of course, if you're sitting in a chair, it's not going to fall back down like that. So this would be your electric legs, so they won't stay up. Um, this would be a little extreme for circulation. You could be halfway, whoop, wrong way. I'm going to bring the tilt back down halfway to show you if you want it from circulation, you can still do it halfway tilted. So if I was here, I could still have my legs higher than my body, okay? So I'm going to bring the tilt all the way back down to flat. We're going to leave the legs up for a minute. And the last function,
function, well not the last, the next function will be the electric recline. The electric recline is just the back going back by itself. That's called recline. A lot of people have trouble de determining tilt and recline. Recline is just the back going back. So if you're going to take a nap in your chair, so you're pretty much flat. Actually, you are. So this would be your what you'd be looking like if you were laying flat in your chair. Okay. I'm going to bring the recline back up. And then we're bringing the legs back down to where they should be. So if you're outside, always leave your legs out a little bit. So I'm going to bring those legs out to about 25% out. What that does is it gives you a little more room under the chair in case you have hit a sidewalk or hit a curb. You don't want to damage these legs. They're very expensive. So we've got the seat back up. Okay? This pouch right here is, is all your manuals. There's tools in here. You get one of these with the permal bills usually when you get them. Now, the last function is called the interior tilt. This is going to be the fifth function where the seat goes up like this on an angle. So this is called the interior tilt. All right, so that's what you look like. So if you go any more, the seat will start elevating. This is called the interior tilt. So it gives you about a 10, 15% degree you can see how much higher it is here. It should be sitting here. That helps you get out of the chair. Of course, you want your legs right inside. You know, you want them out of the way, which is what I'm doing now. So you can just walk right out of your chair. Okay. And when you walk out, just make sure you don't push on the joystick. Put your hands here. But this will help you get out. This is called the interior tilt. So I'm going to bring it back down. And you'll see it come down. So that's called your interior tilt. I'm going to put the legs back out a little bit, like I told you earlier. Put the foot plates back down. Let's talk about the seating system. This chair, <laughs> this chair has a 20 by 20 cushion. It's a foam cushion with air in the back. So there's going to be a valve. There's a valve over here. You can see it from over there. There's a valve right here. It's to put your air, you can, this, the back part of the cushion is air, and this part is, is foam, contoured foam. You've got your lateral pads on both sides right here, lateral pads. These can be removed, and they can also be moved forward or back, or they can also go in or out. These help keep your knees and your leg on the foot plate. They're very nice, and for people who can't keep their feet together on the foot plate, this will definitely keep your knees from buckling out and hitting your knees on the wall or something. You've got a nice padded safety belt. You've got your owner's manual. Also, this chair has gel arms. These are gel arms. You can see when I push on here, you can see the, the gel moving inside of here. These are custom gel arms. You've also got on this chair what's called elbow pads. So when you're reclining back, your arm's not going to fall off the chair because it's going to be rested on this elbow pad on both sides. It can, be adjusted, it can be adjusted up and down whichever way you want. There's one for each arm. Those are custom. These are custom. In the back of the chair, you've got push bars. So if you have to push this chair instead of pushing against the seat, you've actually got push bars that are connected right to the frame. You've got your headrest, which is fully adjustable. You can adjust this headrest right here with all these positioning. You have a key right here that's in your back of your permal bill that you can use to adjust your headrest or adjust your arms and all that. So this key is usually inside of here. You can, most people don't know they have it. It's sitting right there. You've also got these cylinders right here. These adjust the tilt of the arm. So I don't know if I can do it or not, but you can see the arm going up over there and you can see the arm going down. Okay? You have to unlock these little these little rings here sometimes to be able to go higher, that just locks it so nothing moves. Okay, so so this is your turning radius. You can see how quiet that is. Let me turn in a circle so you can see for yourself. 
You can't even hear this chair. You can hear me walking, but but you can't hear the chair. So this is a very quiet chair. So if you need to see, sneak up on someone, this would be a good chair to do it with. So again, let's recap. Oh, charging. When you charge your chair, and you probably already know this if you've been watching my videos, plug it below the joystick. There's a port right there. And as soon as it goes to full, you're fully charged. The chargers are smart. They know when to stop. And they will stop when the batteries are full. So, let's recap. This is an F3 power chair with one mile, five electrical function, 12 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs, interior tilt, gel arms, flip up arms, lateral pads, air cushion, swing away joystick, elbow pads, safety belt, push bars, adjustable headrest, I don't know what else you would need on this chair. And this chair will go six miles an hour because it has that fantastic permobile suspension and it's a quiet glide chair. You, these are quiet glide motors, you cannot hear them. Uh, and you'll see when I drive it outside. So if you're looking for the latest in, in power chairs, they just came out with permobile. If, you, if you're one of those people that like the latest technology, this is one over right here and it's ready to go. This is the new F3 power chair, great suspension, no problem through the grass, it rides on a cushion of air on the flat surface, a really nice chair, you can't even hear this chair, uh, very easy to drive, top of the line in Permobil, fully loaded, uh, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com